Man, what's up? I just said Ryan Cannon, bro. Night, bro. Today, we're going to be reacting to Diary of a Wimpy Black Kid by my boy Stanley Animation, bro. Yeah, without further ado, we about to come ahead and get into this. Let's go. Before we start things off, let's get one thing straight. This isn't a diary. This is a journal. The only reason the title even says diary on it is because Greg's mom bought it like that and now I'm stuck with this dumb title. The last thing I need is some other streamer seeing this title and reacting to it with the wrong idea. And don't expect me to be writing my feet. No, we can never do that. We love you, Stanley or emotions in here being all dear diary this and dear diary that either the only reason i'm even doing this journal is because when i'm rich and famous i have better things to do than answer stupid questions all day but until then i'm stuck in high school with a bunch of goofies i mean who seriously thought that 14 year olds and 18 year olds should coexist in the same building there's guys with beers talking to girls who were still watching my little pony <laughs> then the court system wonders why there's so many cases of 16 year olds talking to 20 year olds if it was up to me i'm not gonna cap grade levels would be based on looks and you wouldn't be able to enter high school until you at least hit puberty which would suck for kids like eli anderson because he ain't see hair on his body till he was like 17 but eh, my first day of high school freshman year to senior year was always lit i'd be so ready to wear my new fit to school that i would have it must be not a weird thing you want to school. Laid out and ready to go before the sun comes up. By the time I got to the building, I realized that everyone I went to high school with was extremely rich and my best outfit was a 5 out of 10 on the drip meter. Matt. But my parents always told me, it's not about the clothes, Stanley. It's about how you wear the clothes. So I figured maybe if I wore the clothes differently, I'd get more attention. And my parents were 100% right. When I showed up to school the next day with my shirt and pants on backwards, <laughs> I liked it so much that they started taking pictures and posting it everywhere online. It lasted for a while. Advertising on YouTube helps me reach engaged customers like Jenna, who's been searching for landscapers on for a while but I had to stop because I was always the last person out of gym class. You'd be surprised how long it takes to put on a button up shirt backwards. Anywho, that's about the only advice I've ever taken from my parents and it went right. Because when it comes to dating advice, they are the absolute worst. Being nice to girls has never gotten me a girlfriend. The most popular guy in our high school was Jaw Hampton, and he could literally triple girl, push her to the ground, and by the time she stood back up, she'd be in love. But me, if I so much as ask for a girl's number on Snapchat, I get two notifications. One saying that she took a screenshot of the chat, and two, a response saying LOL. And I feel like that's the biggest problem with high school these days, social media. Not because it's important to talk face to face or it's ruining the mind of the youth, it's because the lamest people I knew had more followers than I did. And I don't even care about followers. It's just that people will literally treat you like a peasant if you have less followers than them. You would think from all the pictures everyone took of me with my shirt backwards, I'd be an A-list celebrity by now. So in an effort to gain some followers, I did a TBH and rate with my best friend at the time, Mike. TBH and rate means you DM Mike and I a message, we say how we feel about you, and then we rate you based on your appearance and personality. And as far as attention goes, it worked. We had hundreds of people on my page asking for for TBH and rates, but because Mike was an attractive guy, everyone just followed him after, and I just gained like seven followers. Dang. Mike was my best friend. Even though I had to stop hanging out with him early into high school because he joined the high school gang and wanted me to start robbing people with him, and I'm not high and mighty enough to say I'm too good to rob someone. In fact, I've stolen several times before. Petty things like pencils or iPhone chargers were easy lit, so stealing isn't anything new to me. If I'm being honest, I was ready to make it to the big leagues. If it wasn't for the fact that jail is scary. I believe in myself not to get caught, but Mike wasn't the sharpest tool in the shed. And if we got caught for something dumb he did, I don't know if I'm willing to take extra time just because he messed up. Do you know what they do to me in prison? Me neither, but I wouldn't <laughs> to find out. It's called Diary of a Wimpy Kid for a reason. So best believe, it's not the only time I wimped out of something. Like one time, Mike wanted to start a food fight in the cafeteria, and I told him that if he throws something, then I'll throw something with him. But Bruh, I don't know when they tried to start a food fight. It did not go. First time, 
it didn't go right. Somebody threw a milk car and everybody just sat down a little. The second time, all oh, hell broke loose. I don't know what the fuck happened. I was, I was somebody throw something next to them. Somebody throw somebody back. I was like, God damn. And I just sat there and looked at it while I ate my food. But he didn't tell me he was aiming to hit the girl with a boot on her leg. And then Mike gonna look at me like I supported that decision. But if he was smart like me, he'd pretend like someone threw something at him first and in defense he threw something back. That's the difference between me and my classmates. I may not be the best looking or the most athletic, but I have the ability to think things out. Which seems like something everyone should be able to do, but I've seen kids lie about homework and not even have an answer ready just in case the teacher rebuttal if i told a teacher i lost my homework and they didn't believe me i would tell them to call my mom because the night before i would ask my mom for help on one or two questions and then go back to my room to slack off by the next day i would crumple up the homework throw it away and tell the teacher i did it but i lost it they call my mom and she'd be like yes he did it i even helped him on it Work mm. every time but that was smart that, that's smart Hey, I'm not trying to promote lying because eventually I did get caught. I'm just saying you might as well be good at it if you do it. So if there's anything you should take away from this journal entry, is that people aren't smart. Don't listen to your parents' advice. Lying is bad, kinda. Be mean to girls. Don't keep dumb promises and don't do anything illegal. Unless you're sure you're not gonna get caught. In that case, you can do whatever you want. Mm. Chill. Shit, 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 shit. Bro. He needs to start doing some more animation like this for real, bro. I like this. I like this a lot. I like this a lot. But y'all, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, comment down below what y'all want to see me. I did that, boy.